welcome my students now we will discuss about the position of hydrogen in a periodic table the position of hydrogen is controversial hydrogen could have been placed in group 7 or group 7a with the halogen and hydrogen can also be placed in group 1 there are so many arguments behind keeping hydrogen in group 1 and in group 7 also hydrogen has so many characteristics like alkali metal and considering the characteristics of alkali metal hydrogen has been placed in group 1a in many of the details what are the arguments behind keeping hydrogen in group 1a as a metallic periodic table firstly hydrogen has only one valence electron in the outermost pair hydrogen has atomic number 1 lithium has atomic number 3 sodium has atomic number 11 and potassium has atomic number 19 If we take the electronic configuration, hydrogen has one valence electron. The electronic configuration of lithium is p one. Lithium has also one valence electron. Sodium electronic configuration two eight one. It has also one valence electron. Potassium has the electronic configuration two eight eight one. It has also one valence electron. So like All other alkali metals, so lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, etc. Hydrogen has also one valence electron in the outermost pair. Therefore, hydrogen is monovalent like the alkali metal. This is this is the first argument why keeping hydrogen in the group one A. Point number two. Hydrogen also gives up one electron from the outermost pair to form cation, like sodium. Say sodium also gives up one electron from the outermost pair to form Na plus ion. So, like sodium, like lithium, potassium, etc. Hydrogen also gives up one electron from the outermost pair to form cation. This is one of the most important argument why keeping hydrogen in group 1a for the alkali metal now point number 3 point number 1 was monovalent if you like to note it you can write hydrogen is monovalent like lithium sodium potassium but the main difference between the halogen and the alkali metal halogens have also one valency halogens are also monovalent and alkali metals are monovalent but alkali metals have one valence electron in the outermost pair but the halogens have seven electrons in the outermost pair hydrogen has also one electron in the outermost pair like the alkali metal so considering this it is more important to keep hydrogen to place hydrogen in group 1a than in group 7 now the Second point has already been discussed regarding formation of cation. Now the third point is that hydrogen also reacts with the halogens to form halides. Say hydrogen H two plus F two equal to two H a hydrogen chloride. H two sorry. And H two plus Cl two two A. So hydrogen reacts with chlorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, etc. to form its halide like hydrogen chloride, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen bromide, hydrogen iodide, etc. And the alkali metal sodium reacts with chlorine to form its halide sodium chloride. Sodium plus chlorine 
equal to sodium chloride. Similarly, hydrogen also reacts with the halogens to form its halide. So, both alkali metals and hydrogen can form their halide by reacting with the halogen. Now, the fourth point is that the alkali metals form their stable oxides like NH2O, K2O, Li2O, etc. Similarly, hydrogen also forms its oxide H2O. The role of hydrogen is there like the alkali metals. Now, point number five. Hydrogen also acts as a reducing agent, strong reducing agent like the alkali. As the alkali metals like sodium, potassium, etc reduces other substances mainly the electronegative elements like fluorine, fluorine, etc. Here the oxidation number of fluorine is reduced to minus one from zero. Therefore, fluorine is reduced by sodium. Similarly, hydrogen also reduces the halogen. Here, the reducing the oxygen number of fluorine has been reduced to minus one from zero. So, chlorine is reduced by hydrogen. So, hydrogen plays a role of reductant as the alkali metal. So, it is also one strong argument behind placing hydrogen in the alkali metal group that is in group 1A in Mendeley's prediction. So, these are the arguments. Maximum, the most important argument for placing hydrogen in group 1 with the alkali metals. Now, actually, hydrogen has the characteristics like halogen. The role of hydrogen as halogen. Number one, like the halogen, hydrogen is also diatomic element. Halogens like fluorine, F2, fluorine, Cl2, bromine, Br2, iodine, I2, etc. They are diatomic element, that is they are molecules are formed by two atoms similarly molecule of hydrogen is also formed by two atoms. Hydrogen is also diatomic. First argument. Now the second argument is that the similarity of hydrogen with the halogen. Halogens are monovalent. Valency of halogens is one. Similarly, hydrogen is also monovalent. Number C. Halogens, by the action of the alkali metals, form the halide of the alkali metal. Then now 2. 2Na plus F2 equal to 2Na. So this is fluoride. Sodium fluoride is formed by reaction of sodium and fluorine. Sodium is an alkali metal and fluorine is a halogen. So sodium reduces fluorine to form sodium fluoride. Similarly, 
sodium reduces hydrogen to form its hydride so the role of fluorine and hydrogen a same fluorine not only fluorine 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 bromine iodine etc all reacting with sodium forms in a in a cl in a br etc similarly hydrogen also reacting with sodium form sodium hydride reacting with potassium form potassium hydride reacting with um, lithium form lithium hydride etc so the role of hydrogen here is like the halogen during reacting with the alkali metal and number 4 argument when hydrogen reacts with the alkali metal hydrogen acts as an electronegative element electronegative element that is fluorine this is one electron to form cl minus ion during formation of nacl similarly hydrogen this is one electron to form h minus ion or negative ion during formation of nah so here the role of hydrogen is just like the role of halogen so considering these co arguments hydrogen can also be placed in group 7 group 7a with the halogen so character of hydrogen is a twelve character hydrogen plays very important role hydrogen plays controversial role hydrogen sometimes we have like the alkali metal and sometimes we have like the halogen so therefore hydrogen is called long element but keep in mind the main point is that hydrogen has only one electron in the outermost pair hydrogen atom has only one electron in the outermost shell like the alkali metal therefore hydrogen has been placed in group 1a for the alkali metal thank you my dear students for testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos log on to www.tubelessons.net